Hello guys, how are you? First of all, thank you so much for the kind welcome or welcome back. I'm incredibly happy and so excited to be here and I hope today the light and uh, the camera settings are better because last time the camera wasn't focused and the light was really shitty, but we will get there, just bear with me. So today is the first output in the world, I wanted to start with maybe the biggest lesson that I learned in the past couple of years and so let's talk about emotions we have nine basic emotions as far as I know uh, and three of them are positive and six of them are negative which I think is not really fair but the main positive emotions or the primary positive emotions are love, interest and joy and the negative emotions are fear, disgust, uh, shame, anger, guilt, and sadness, of course. So, um, well, they're primary emotions, the ones that we have uh, built in our hardware, in our head, so in our systems, and they're all there for a purpose. So, for example, anger is a sign that our personal boundaries are crossed, Sadness means that we probably lost something or that we miss something or that we are longing for something. They all have a purpose, so they all have some kind of a message that they bring us. But especially with these negative emotions, sometimes we have secondary emotions that can, for example, be fear of joy or fear of love or shame of love or shame of anger or guilt of anger or something like that. So we first, there something happens, then we have a reaction to the something that happens in form of an emotion and instead of letting ourselves feel this emotion we kind of attach a negative meaning to it and then we have a secondary emotion that tells us kind of how we feel about that first emotion i hope that you can follow what i'm saying so it especially is true uh depending on our upbringing for example as girls we are usually denied anger when we are growing up so we don't get encouraged to express our anger and so we learn to suppress it and suppressed anger means for example depression so a lot of depression is actually suppressed uh anger or something like that and boys are brought up to have shame of sadness so like boys don't cry and stuff like that don't be a girl just in general in families where these emotions were not accepted or not cherished it's quite difficult to learn to express them in a healthy and uh, productive way so well that was a very long introduction but what my message here like the core message of this video is that these emotions are here for a reason we have them because they are telling us something and it is very unproductive to suppress them so i have struggled with it a lot and i have even disconnected from my emotions so much that when I started doing some more profound and deep internal work, I understood that I have no idea how I feel. In very many cases, I kind of feel stuff, but I cannot even name it. This is one of the basic cognitive functions of our psyche and this is something that we actually should learn as kids but because our parents also have their own traumas and their own problems with expressing and accepting their emotions uh, sometimes we don't get to learn how to do it in a healthy way so well i mean emotions can be very difficult especially if as i said there is a lot of them and we are scared to dive into and feel them to the fullest because sometimes they bring pain but i think that there like is a three-step program <laughs> of how to learn to live with them and embrace them and then actually start using them for your personal growth and for healing yourself even so well as i said usually something happens and we have an emotion as the reaction to it and then we have a secondary emotion and then we suppress the primary emotion so of course the trick is first to know what your emotions are so first we kind of have to get in touch with ourselves and we have to learn to understand what we are feeling right now and it can be represented in our bodies a lot of times so for example now that i got so much more in touch with my 
own emotions, I feel them a lot. So for example, like when I feel anger, I feel it like in my throat, like I'm suffocating or when I feel sadness, I feel it like here in the uh, chest. And I mean, it, it can be also different for different people. So sometimes uh, you can feel it like in your limbs and your arms, in the back of your spine or something like that. It really is personal. And the thing is that when we suppress the emotions, not only do they get stored in our body as this tension because they don't go anywhere if we don't let them uh if we don't leave through them if we don't let ourselves express them then they really do get stored as tensions as pain in the body as sickness eventually so it is really 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 unproductive to deny yourself expressing them now okay so the first step is to identify what we are feeling and why we reacted like this to something that just happened and then the next step is learning to just observe them without fearing them because sometimes it can be very uncomfortable for example we got scared or angry and we were taught to not accept that in ourselves but we did feel that for some reason so for example maybe our boundary was crossed and i think it's very important to be able to kind of disconnect in the sense of know that this emotion is not forever so it is a state that will pass and it can be painful in the moment but if we let ourselves analyze it a little bit and if we live through it fully uh, we will be able to release it and then it will not cause us harm anymore because well think about this probably you still have some things from your past some conflicts or some situations that you think about them and you still feel all of these emotions you still feel it in your body you feel it as some kind of a pain or tension somewhere and this just means that you didn't live it through in the moment because if we truly live the emotion to its fullest and then release it then it never bothers us anymore in this situation this memory will never cause us harm anymore so basically after naming and letting ourselves feel the emotion what is important is to just sit there with it and try to understand it like what is it trying to tell us why is it there what is its purpose why do we feel this way and I think it can be very overwhelming the first times because it feels like we are suffering, it feels like a lot of pain, but keep in mind that pain is unavoidable, it's inevitable, and suffering is optional. So we can choose if we want to suffer from the emotion or if we don't, basically we can very easily just live through the pain, breathe through it, usually breathing helps a lot because we when we have a lot of tension when we have a lot of emotions we tend to kind of stop breathing profoundly and we kind of tense a lot to try to hold it in and this is something which is very unproductive and something that we shouldn't do because breathing actually helps release it especially in case of sadness or anger i find that just breathing really deeply and feeling this emotion let it like invade your entire body helps a lot to release it in case of anger of course you don't want to harm anyone or to spoil your relationship by expressing anger directly so in this case i really recommend learning more about nonviolent communication i will probably make a ton of videos about it and at least I can give some links to the already existing ones. Uh, it's very important to express, to learn to express your emotions in the way that is not harmful for other people. But in the moment when you just cannot uh, deal with it, for example, you're super angry and you don't want to like burst out or hit someone, you can go and hit a pillow, for example, or you can go for a run, or you can just say out loud all the things when you're alone like all the things that you're feeling you can imagine that the person that you're angry at for example is in front of you and just tell it to an empty chair or just to an imaginary person in your head just to let it all out for example to me it really helps to speak the things out loud so uh that's what i do sometimes i just imagine that the other person is listening and you like tell them all what i think without like don't restrict yourself they, they, uh, nobody hears you so you can say whatever you want and then it will really lift your system and you will feel so much better. So, well, to sum it up, emotions that we feel are messengers that let us know that something is going on and suppressing them is not going to help anyone and it's actually just gonna cause pain and disease and, uh, well, 
nothing good will come out of it in order to process whatever negative emotion we have or even positive emotion sometimes we don't know how to process them either we need to identify what we are feeling and why we are feeling it we have to understand that they are temporary and that they are not going to stay with us forever that uh, this emotion will also pass and so we shouldn't have fear of diving into it breathe through it let it go through our entire body and let it tell us whatever it is there to tell us because our emotions are here to tell us something and then express it in a non-violent way which i will talk about later not in this video and yeah so then after that if you did all of these steps this emotions should not bother you at all anymore and you should be able to just let them go in case this doesn't happen you can like go on and repeat because maybe there was more than one emotion these are just the primary basic emotions but there are uh, many cases where we have like a little or a very huge pile of emotion and we cannot even identify so we can start with the strongest one and go from there and of course if there are emotions that are not measurable to the situation for example somebody looks at you like in a funny way and you get completely sad and start crying or you get completely angry and you want to like punch the other person probably it just triggers some memory maybe from childhood maybe from something else that you still haven't processed emotionally yet so if you are self-aware enough to understand that not all of your emotions are directly related to the current situation that is some kind of like already next level uh, self-awareness but just as a bottom line the most important thing that i've learned in the past couple of years is emotions are here to tell us something don't suppress them let them go through your body express them in a healthy and non-violent way and be happy and healthy and be kind and most of all be kind to yourself well, it was a pleasure and see you in the next video. Bye.